hello and welcome back go ahead and subscribe for more content now today we are going to be making these little trinket trays they're really cute and I'm gonna show you how I make them and you can choose to make them like that if you want so of course let's begin with one cup of water one cup of cemental and one cup of plaster of Paris. We're gonna stir that up real quick. And remember it doesn't have to get super muddy because it dries really fast. And then we're gonna add some color. Okay, so I showed you the ones that are natural in the beginning of the video and I'm just making colored ones. And I add paint and I use Amsterdam because I paint with Amsterdam. So I went ahead and used Amsterdam to add for my acrylic paint for colors. Now here is my tray mold, my trinket tray mold. I'm going to go ahead and pour. And once you see it slowing down like this, that means it's drying really, really fast. So you have to work fairly quickly. And of course, tap, 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 vibrations, vibrations, vibrations. They take out as many bubbles as possible. And I overfilled a little bit, so I'm gonna scoop some out and then tap so I can get a smooth finish on the bottom and continue to do that. All right, my leftover, I'm gonna make some coasters with it. And it's getting really dry, so I have to try to make sure I get bubbles out and tap and do the whole process again. But yeah, you can see the bubbles. And the thicker it is, for some reason, when I'm mixing this mixture, the more bubbles it tends to have. That's why I like pouring it when it's watery. And this is the last bit of my leftover. And you can see it's like a desert sand color. And I used raw sienna as the color for this. And this one bubbles up pretty thick and I just pop the bubble because it's drying so fast. All right, next we're going to do another color and today we're gonna do a pink color. Now I already pre-designed some of the colors that I really wanted and I wanted to go with like a boho, vintage, <laughs> earthy vibes. So, and then the concrete gives it like a earthy tone to it so all i do is just add the paint and then the plaster lightens it up it gives it that pink color so that's how i do the mixture now you can always i show you different ways that you can add in the mixture together the first i began by pouring the water first but either way that works for you is always going to work but pouring the water first usually has a decrease in bubbles but sometimes i forget and just do the powder first so and you see this dusty rose color it's really nice i was looking more like a blush pink dusty rose so it turned out really nice i mean for me it's a little too red i guess i put too much red in it because red is a very dominant color but it still gave that little dusty rose pink color or like a vintage rose, a vintage pink color. Of course, I'm airing and taking all the bubbles by tapping and vibrating and even popping it if it slows down because it's drying so fast. But yeah, this one has a lot of air bubbles. All right, so whatever's left over, they're going to be turned into coasters. I try to work as quickly as I can. It actually looks like a lip color. And of course I go tapping the silicone. These are a little overfill. I still have yet to successfully 
measure out these coaster molds. All right, so next we're going to do our last color. And of course, one of my favorite colors. And I skipped the whole pouring process because you've already washed that twice. And we're gonna add turquoise. This is Apple Barrel. I don't have a specific turquoise from Amsterdam because I usually mix my colors. But I don't want to do too much mixing because too much mixing means I don't get the same colors each time. Because if you know, mixing paint is hard to get that same exact color each time. I'm actually going to add some blue simply because the cement will make it a little green. Will, will actually make it towards the green color. So I wanted to add a little more blue to keep it at that turquoise color once it dries. And I'm, if you notice, I'm actually trying to match the color of the bin too, because that's the color I want. All right, into the mold it goes. And I get like a smooth, that's what you want, a smooth mixture and when you tap it you want to see that the, it has at least like barely any air bubbles in that one but if you're going to do this mixture this way that means you have to work very quickly and i think it's awesome that this turned out amazing You can, of course, add or spray alcohol to make those smooth out really well. Now away they go and I'm actually demolding these the next day so it's more than it's been more than four to six hours but as you can see this got a little pink rosy color that yellow air bubble at the bottom let's see how these coasters turned out because the first time I've first couple of times I've done them they've been eh, a fail kind of this is a little bit holy and probably the coasters end up turning out so bad is because I do those last. I need to dedicate doing just the coasters only. Because then it's getting up the dried up mixture. But that actually turned out really nice, the circular one. Hexagonal one had a little bit of holes in it, but something to work with. Okay, here's the... This has a nice color. The raw sienna. It really gives a nice tone. It's like a desert sand. I'm trying to put names together of what I'm gonna call these. It's like a lightly cameled color. Reminds me of um, the Middle Eastern desert. Well, the desert over there is a little bit darker, but it has like a little nice sandy color to it. And the circular one was a fail.
and then there was an overflow, so that's completely useless. I like the colors together, the little pink and the beige, the, I'm gonna call it dusk. And the turquoise one turned out just fine as well. It looks a bit blue on camera, but it has like a blue green color to it. It's crazy because blue green is such a hard color to capture on camera. All the turquoise, teals, and cyans. So as you can see how everything turned out. Pretty decent. We only had two that was like majorly not that great and one horrible one, but at least the trays turned out great. And I have plans for these, so if you want to tune in to my next video and see what I do with these, I'm going to actually paint them. This one, the bottom's a little lopsided. Hopefully I can sand it down because it looks so perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and sand them. Some of them don't need too much sanding. When you do like a perfect pour, you don't have enough sand, you don't have a lot of sanding to do. And I plan on getting a sander sometime in the future. Sand that bottom over that paper. Get a good gritty one. Make it even. I didn't even bother with the other ones that are messed up. I'll just like forget about it. And it's still a little muddy because it needs a little more time to cure for like a couple days. So when you're sanding it, it might be a little bit more muddy. But in due time, it will, it will get rock solid. Just want some clean edges. And this one's a little uneven on the bottom. I guess that's the way I had it laid out. So one side comes up a little. But I'm really proud how the colors turned out. Um, I have a few additional colors, but look how great they look. The natural ones in there. And this is all four of them. So watch me paint these. Go ahead and watch my next video and subscribe for more content.